Hello, in this video we'll talk about syphilis. So what is syphilis? It's a bacterial infection which is spread by sexual contact. So it's a sexually transmitted disease and the causal organism behind syphilis is Treponema pallidum. Treponema pallidum is a spirochete. So what is a spirochete? So spirochete are those bacteria which have long helically coiled corkscrew like appearance. They are mainly gram negative bacteria and they contains distinct tiderm or double membrane. And they're about like three to 500 micron longer. And they have endoflagella system. That means flagella within the bacteria. And this endoflagella help this bacteria to make a corkscrew like motion and this corkscrew like motion helps the bacteria to wade through the thick mucus and invade the cells of the host so generally it is acquired by sexual contact but whenever these bacteria find any breaches in the squamous or columnar epithelium they make their way inside and that is how it is transmitted so let's look at what does syphilis infection look like? What are the stages? So syphilis infection can be uh, subdivided into four stages and all these stages has different timelines. So the primary stage occurs within the three to 90 days of infection. And there are distinct uh, symptoms by which we can identify this particular stage. There is a secondary stage which is about 4 to 10 weeks after infection. There is a latent stage where there is no symptoms and there could be a tertiary stage if untreated, it would be visible after 3 to 15 years of infection. So let's take a couple of minutes to understand these phases of uh, infection in a bit more details. So first we begin with the primary syphilis or the primary stages of syphilis. In this case, there would be source in the site of infection. Generally, this can be found on external genitalia, that means penis and in vagina. So these sores are known as chancre. Generally, they are painless, so they go unnoticed. Now, if we zoom into the chancre, we can see it has a raised border, hard base, and a fluid filled substance, which is kind of uh, hosting a lot of treponema uh, bacteria and whenever there is a touch in this particular chancre there could be spread of uh, the treponema bacteria so this source can occur in genitals anus and in or around the mouth and generally it has a lot of syphilis bacteria inside it now let's say accidentally during sex uh, a person has touched the penis which has a uh, chancre on that so suddenly some of these uh, syphilis causing treponema bacteria can possibly invade through the small breaches inside the skin and possibly can infect you. Now the secondary uh, stage of syphilis is a bit more complicated. The symptoms include rashes, swollen lymph node and also systemic responses like fever. So the treponema moves to the lymph node and then eventually it moves to the bloodstream. This is known as acquired syphilis. But if syphilis is acquired through blood transfusion, then this kind of primary phase is completely not there. So directly syphilis can be found in the bloodstream. Shankar development would not take place. Now during the secondary stage of syphilis, there is generalized lymph adenopathy. That means swollen lymph node which is visible throughout the body and not only in the site of infection. So in that uh, stage, the bacteria is infecting the blood vessels, capillary, and especially the capillary endothelial cells. Now treponema attaches to the capillary endothelial cell surfaces and infect them. And that results in rashes all around the body. And this is known as maculopapular rash, which is generally not itchy, but reddish in appearance. Now there could be different type of rashes, some are postular which is filled with pus, some are papulosquamous which are scaly or hard rashes, some of them are known as condyloma lata which are 
small whitish bumps on the skin. All these rashes are uh, visible or some of them are visible during the secondary stage of syphilis and this generally occurs 6 to 12 weeks from the infection. So this stage is highly infectious. Even, uh, even if you touch these rashes, there could be a transmission of the syphilis causing organism to you. During the latent stage, there are no obvious signs and symptoms. So in this stage, the number of uh, bacteria is also less. There are few bacteria, but that might cause serious complication. They can attract immune system. For example, they can activate T helper cells, especially, especially the Th1 subtype, which can lead to type 4 hypersensitivity response. Eventually, it secretes a bunch of inflammatory cytokines, pro-inflammatory cytokines, such as interleukin-1, 6, and TNF-alpha, which further activates macrophages, and these activated macrophages can lead to variety of responses involving swelling, redness, warmth in the local region and can also lead to systemic responses which ultimately lead to fever. Now, a goma is formed in case of tertiary syphilis. Tertiary syphilis happens like after, even after years of the infection. A goma is basically a clump of dead immune cells. So, in this case, you can see immune cells, fibroblasts, all of them uh, attached together forming a clump which has a necrotic core and this goma appears on the skin, liver or even in the bones. So in the tertiary syphilis what really happens is there could be development of uh, granulomatous, uh, granulomatous lesions in your liver, bone or even in the skin. There could be onset of cardiovascular lesions which known as, which is known as cardiovascular syphilis there could be neuropathy which is associated with tertiary stages of the syphilis known as neurosyphilis and there could be also uh, several other manifestations such as the the testis and the intestine that could have serious consequences but not uh, summarized here now the question is how syphilis is diagnosed so tryponema pallidum cannot be seen in gram staining so obviously a dark field examination is critical for the detection that's a kind of screening test also tryponema pallidum can be detected by silver nitrate staining in a otherwise yellowish background the bacteria will look like black now there are serological tests which are a bit more sensitive and confirmatory one such test is tppa or tryponema pallidum particle agglutination test already a mouthful but it's a very simple test in this case in a microtiter plate you take a avine rbc which is coated with tryponema pallidum antigens and then you introduce patient serum sample which might or might not have antibodies against tryponema if there is antibody against tryponema there would be precipitation of the rbcs there would be agglutination if there is no uh, antibodies there would be no agglutination and we can check these samples for agglutination this is a hypothetical test result here you can see how a positive and a negative result look like so in this spectrum your your sample might fall in somewhere in this spectrum there are alternative sensitive tests against tryponema pallidum such as fluorescence tryponema antibody absorbed test here, fluorescently labeled antibodies against specific tryponema antigens are used for detection. Now, let's look at the treatment option. As this is a bacterial infection, antibiotics are proper uh, for treatment. Now, obviously, you should go and consult a doctor if you think you have uh, syphilis. Now, syphilis can, uh, syphilis can be transmitted from mother to baby. And this is known as congenital syphilis. The tryponema can actually pass through the placenta and can infect the baby. That is why it is important during pregnancy you might do a syphilis test. Now if the baby is born with congenital syphilis there could be several complications including maculopapular rash in the feet and in the palms. There could be hearing defects, optic uh, neuritis, there could be saddle nose, Hutchinson teeth and many other characteristic features which are found in congenital syphilis. So it can lead to many 
complications in a newborn. So I hope this video kind of summarizes all the necessary points regarding syphilis, the pathophysiology of it, the microbiology and how we can detect syphilis. Uh, notes are available in my Facebook page. You can follow my Facebook page uh, and the link is provided in the description. As usual, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Do let me know how you like this video in the comment section. You can support my channel in Patreon. I'm presenting a wide variety of social media. All the links are provided in the description. My courses are also present in Unacademy. You can use my code AP10 to get a 10% discount. See you in the next video. Thank you.